Hey everybody, this is Mark Hawkins, and um, Boomer Fresh is uh, the name for my uh, incubator. Um, I come up with so many ideas, I just get, you can't work them all. So what I do is I plop them down under a brand called uh, Boomer Fresh, and that shall be an incubator for socially responsible and just flat out decent ideas that I want to spread around and also um, uh, have my friends join in uh, with some of the projects and if in fact you have something that you need help with then I can certainly help you with any uh, many facets of any given projects especially when it comes to uh, graphics uh, marketing uh, just ideas head you know head banging to find out you know just exactly how you can maybe take something and bring it to fruition whether it's uh, monetizing it or whether it's uh, uh, just marketing it to sell a widget if you've got art or if you've got music or uh, you've got a service of any kind uh, where you can solve people's problems or whatever that's what the boomer fresh incubator is all about now one of my projects that i uh, thought of during the lockdown was something called uh, uh, cordistra uh, i got myself a ukulele to, uh, you know, I've never played a stringed instrument ever before in my life. I thought I was going to pick up the guitar many times and never did. And yeah, I did find myself a keyboard along the way, even even uh, when my parents were out of town at a uh, on a vacation. I managed to secure a uh, cabinet grand antique piano and uh, uh, promptly rip their living room carpet as I schlepped it inside a house to our dining room where I promptly put it up against the wall and played it for several years um, um, in my parents' house and I posthumously thank them for that um, and I'm sure that they really appreciated me ripping their carpet and I, I imagine we probably paid more money to have it taken out of the house and hauled away. That's the way I, re that's the way I received the the thing. It just happened to be coming out of divorce a couple of blocks away and I said I'll take it and next thing I knew is I had a piano. But I digress. This is a $60 Amazon ukulele. It has been my best friend since moving into my apartment which in which I started playing it. So now it's we're coming up on I haven't yet played this thing for a couple of years. It's uh, I've played it for a year and a half or so and um, I've you know, I've learned a few chords, um, but nevertheless, uh, what I'd like to do is start up a something called a chordistra, and that is um, virtual uh, music writing and playing. Not just playing, uh, but also the writing of songs. Now, I have done a, um, I have done a, uh, I've written a song. It's basically always, everything's born of a riff or whatever, as I'm learning my chords along the way. And I, I, got, I, I, I came up with a song that sounds very patriotic to me. I thought that we were, you know, this country was going through such terrible, uh, terrible times, uh, quite frankly, very trying times, uh, you know, outside the pandemic. Um, you know, we were going through uh, racial tensions, we were going through societal changes as far as the Me Too movement. We were going through a very difficult uh, uh, presidential uh, for some of us anyway, it was a very difficult at times in terms of the, the presidential administration, not to make this political, but the point of it is, is that we kind of are, kind of are at each other's throats, okay? No matter what our ideology is, I mean, nobody seems to be getting along. So this song in which I'm about to play is the first thing that I'd like to roll out when it comes to chordistra. And um, that's just in kind of advertising it, advertising what the idea is as I hone in on some of the fine, uh, you know, uh, some of the ideas of how to work with uh, this idea of chordistra, people playing in a virtual environment together. Um, now, the mechanics are not right with this, um, and I don't want this to cost people a lot of money. I also don't want to present into the equation anything that's difficult to use. So for purposes of this video, um, it's just, 
you know, it's more of a communal idea more than anything else. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, what we see on TV is we see the little squares which everybody's playing out of their, you know, out of their boxes on, on Zoom or whatever. That doesn't actually work um, uh, the way you see it. I mean, if, if everybody at one time is playing at the same time, there is a latency with Zoom and with other platforms out there in which it's not going to come across uh, with the sound synonymous in, in, I don't know the right way to put it, in parallel uh, with each other's playing. Uh, and that's why you have, you see, everybody's got their headphones on. Well, basically what they're working with is they're working with recordings um, and then they're playing. And what's coming across is really the, uh, the, uh, the um, sum total of a number of different recordings that people have worked on on their own, um, whatever their parts are or whatever, and then that's being worked out in the magic, the Wizard of Oz through there. And then what we're seeing at home is the, is the, um, the, the, uh, uh, the product of mixing and uh, working with the latency and sound and all that kind of stuff coming to us in the same form as what where we listen to a song anywhere else. Um, so I'm going to play this tune. You're going to hear it. And then what I'd like you to do is I would like you to listen to different parts. I'll play different parts. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write the lyrics to what I haven't written. Now, the only lyrics, the only lyric I have written thus far is a very important part. And that's the head riff, uh, the melody. And that is, um, um, where have you gone to America? Now, it sounds kind of, it sounds like a downer, right? Well, no. Uh, you know, it could be also where we go in America. You know, where we go in America. And you'll hear it right now. Okay, where are we going, America? Or where have you gone to, America? Okay, you get the gist? Let's get it. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it together. Let's go. We're better than this, than America. Let's grow.
the idea. All right. Where we go, we merry go. Let's get it together. Let's go. We do da 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 da. Fight for the free. Patriotic song for us. So, got the idea? Okay, so Chordestra. Chordestra is going to be about writing music together, whether you know how to write music or not. I don't know how, I, I know how to actually write music if I were to play a trumpet. I lived, I uh, learned the trumpet when I was in, uh, I think starting in fifth grade, uh, around uh, Herb Albert and the T1 of Brass times in the 60s, and I played it in the fifth, six, seven, eight, and nine. So five years of trumpet, and then I gave it up because I didn't want my uh, lips to freeze on the football field. And of course, I wanted to play football or Apple High School, but that didn't pan out. I was about uh, one back and 50 pounds too small, and um, that was the end of that. And then by that time, I didn't want to play the trumpet anymore, and by that time, I was growing my hair long, and... and uh, doing other things in which, uh, yes, it would have been great to play the guitar and all that kind of stuff then, but I just didn't have the patience to learn it while I watched other people do it and sail on to the sunset. No. I'm just picking, at the age of, what, mid-60s, I'm picking up the ukulele and I want to do something with others when it comes to uh, sharing my love of music. So anyway, I think that all my years of observing and listening to music I'm a professional listener <laughs> of sorts. Um, when some people are singing the melodies, I'm basically singing the, the, the bass parts because I'm, I've listened to the melody way too many times and I start working out new arrangements. So this is one of the things that I want you to do. You may play the um, kazoo or you may play the uh, viola or you may play whatever it is you play. Uh, so what I just laid down uh, listen to it, work out your own arrangement on your own instrument to play it along with this particular song. Then those of you who do not play even the kazoo, a comb with something on it that would make it into kazoo, or the flutophone or what have you, um, you can certainly write some words, And uh, or if you haven't ever done that before, it's time to start. I have to join in and let's get, let's get your name on writing credits of this patriotic song that's going to Quite frankly, it's going to it's 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 going to challenge Lee Greenwood to come up with an even better anthem, patriotic anthem. So that's it I've got for today. Um, good to see everybody, and um, I hope you tune in. You go to Boomer Fresh, BoomerFresh.com, and you will see just the very early days of uh, a website I've slapped together. Um, to start kind of holding some of these projects, uh, holding them on cue, um, as I can't get to each one alone. I would love to have some help with some of this stuff. If you've got a good idea, if you got anything to bring to the party, if you'd like to learn how to put some of this stuff into different forms online so people can learn of your skills, so people can learn of your um, your craft can learn of your hobby whatever that may be let's work together and let's see what we can do with it for maybe to channel some of that energy channel some of that uh, channel some of that uh, 
that talent of yours um, to where you can share with others. Okay. Um, I hope to see you. I'll be uh, seeing you around when it comes to. I have no idea what's going to happen with the podcast and this, uh, this the last one hundred dollars, whatever. But I've got all guns a blazing right now. I've gained about twenty pounds, all which is right here. You can actually see as I grab it. It's not a pretty sight, but I'm basically working on that. God, I. When I came into this apartment, I weighed 145, I was sickly, and I had all sorts of different stuff to work on. And now I'm kind of <laughs> scaling back a little bit. So anyway, have a great weekend. This is the uh, June 18th, Friday. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. See how I can stop this now.